Hello everybody, welcome to Great Dunmo. Uh, Dun Dunmo, Dunmo, yeah. Uh, our sea post built in 1959 and lasted till 1991, which is similar to a lot of our sea posts in Essex and it's probably about standard for most decommissioned ROC posts. Some lasted longer, some lasted shorter, some were built later, some were built roughly about the same time. Um, it is an ROC post. <laughs> it's in Essex and it's got lovely bits of graffiti because apparently all we want to do is dance. Then you've got your Satan worship stuff. You know, because apparently Stacy. You need to die apparently you've got some nice interesting bits of graffiti i like that name bailey although i don't think that person above looks anything like a bailey uh yeah you've got your offensive stuff you've got bits of crap fireworks everything that is not associated with an rsc basically um you got it all and let's have a look in the storage. There is no toilet, as you would be shock or surprised at. Got the original door, which is good. You've got, which would have been probably a filament light, I'm assuming, but that might have been a clearly a later addition. Um, maybe the farmer probably did it. Um, you've got a vent, still roughly rusted. Hangers are there. You've got the, probably the best bit about this RSC post. Actually, the fact you've got the counterweight for the the hatch is still good. The ladder is really solid in condition. I just dropped something. Oh, yeah, sorry, professional. And that's about it. It's literally about it. Come on, light. There we go. Um, I can't really say anything positive about it because there's nothing t left to say anything positive about. It. Uh, like I said, apart from the hatch, this is interesting. Now, I have no idea. I mean, all of those are roughly 1970s, 1980s. So you've got a, that, I think that's a Jaguar. You've got a Harrier jump jet, which is a Sea Harrier, I'm assuming. You've got a Tornado, which looks like you've got a Sea King. Um, it looks like another, is that a, I don't know which one that it might be that's a nimrod isn't it just trying to sort of that's a hercules is that that's a phantom from just looking from the back of it so yeah uh so you've got that's an interesting sticker whether that actually dates to this i don't really it's hard to tell really i mean the planes and everything are quite old, but just because there's stickers doesn't necessarily mean that that's there. I've, I've never seen anything like that in an RSC post before, but you know, it, it makes sense, I suppose, for being an out observation post. You want to know what planes look like, but then uh, I don't know, no, no, just forget that. I just think that's a bit weird. Um, you can still see roughly where the framing was because you've got Sea Ringer of Doom. But everything else, it's just, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's an RSC post, everybody. I'm surprised it's not flooded because the water sump's missing, <laughs> along with everything else. So yes, that's it. Essex, you never fail to surprise me when it comes to history. It's almost exactly identical to Kent in terms of variation and everything else but then people are people and they're gonna do what they want to do the question that I always ask myself is how many people actually come down there and actually know what this originally was used for you know but um yes like we said before as always the most interesting thing about RSC posts is the stuff that isn't dated to the RSC posts like a monster energy drink for example and fireworks because clearly they've had a good time down here. Um, and that's it. Literally is it. So the cabling would have been. We're done. Okay. Have I documented it enough? I think I have. I'm giving you the date when it opened, when it shut, and I've just shown you around. The lack of everything that is here.
but yeah. I'm not going to lie, the weather's atrocious outside at the moment. Well, and that's it. So yes, here we are, your ROC post for this week. And it is in a terrible state. But it's okay, because that's the fun of ROC posts. And I think that's the thing, is that no one ROC post is going to be identical from the next one. So I like doing these because, you know, you, you really are never going to know what you're going to encounter down here, what condition it's going to be in. And you can look at photos and everything else, but it's always not going to be what you think it is. And I think this is a classic example of, you know, this really isn't what you'd expect. But it's here. And that's it. <laughs> I suppose is my conclusion. Um, right, I'll show you up top, and then that's it, I think. So, come come with me. That water sump, honestly, makes me laugh. So that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Now I was just doing some external stuff. It's quite windy, but they've put the indicator on top of the vent. And I've never seen that. That's quite unusual. Normally that wouldn't be there. That would be over by the main hatch, but that's there. That is interesting. Apologise to the wind on that, but that really is an interesting bit of blinking you miss that. How fascinating. Right, any more words of Phoenix history? Thanks always for watching. Um, keep safe and because history matters, and I will see y'all very soon. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Spread the love, spread the joy, spread the happiness. Remember, things like this should be kept in really good condition because in generations to come they might not be here so always look after stuff like this and it's important that we keep our history alive. So catch you later everybody, bye for now, the wind!